Guys, I am not going to sugarcoat it. Every single one of you lied to me about long legs. This movie is absolutely not as scary as all of you have been saying. Let's dive right into it, guys. My name is Nova. This is Film Express, and I'm here talking to you today about the absolutely overhyped new horror film, Long Legs. You've definitely seen the hype around this movie. We cannot even ignore it, right? The, the cryptic marketing did so much of the legwork. There was a hype surrounding this film because nobody knew what it was. And every headline was, this is the scariest film that anybody has ever seen. And people were pooping themselves or vomiting in the theater. And when a film is hyped like that, you always kind of have to go in with a little bit of skepticism. But you know what? I was starting to get a little bit excited. It definitely looked like a very interesting film. Another really interesting angle is the director, Osgood Perkins. I believe is his name or Oswin Perkins Osgood Perkins he was on social media being extremely confident extremely bold kind of talking shit about every other director in the game and every other horror movie in the game right now saying he doesn't concern himself with watching other people's horror films and he feels like artistry is gone in horror films and you know what the irony is so funny there he was talking crap about Pearl and Pearl is a thousand times the film that Long Legs is Long Legs to me was definitely a disappointment None of it really worked for me. I found it was an absolute blunder of a movie. It really started with the fact that it wasn't scary at all. It was very, very much a laughable film. And you know what? I can try to give credit to Perkins for trying to go for the anti-jump scare approach and the unconventional fear tactics. But you know what? The first or second time, it was kind of effective. But if you're going for the anti-jump scare for the whole film, and that is literally the only trick you have up your sleeve, this is going to run very, very thin, very, very quick, which is exactly what happened with Long Legs. I can give also credit to some interesting blocking and staging in the scenes, but ultimately this was very sauceless filmmaking. Like there was no creativity in my opinion. That like slow creep horror really, really did not hit the mark. Everyone was making it seem like this was the scariest film ever and absolutely not. This was more funny than it was scary. And it really all comes down to the story. This is a nothing burger and a nothing story. The mystery is absolutely not existent you really can't get yourself involved or immersed in the characters or the story at all there's no means of keeping you guessing that it doesn't even try to hide where it's going it's telegraphing its whole moves i knew nothing about this film going into it i saw some of the hype on social media like don't get me wrong but i knew nothing about the plot i didn't know what it was about at all it was about the 25 or 30 minute mark and i totally guessed how the movie would end i was 100 percent right that's exactly where the story went because the story introduces a character to you that undoubtedly gives you the vibes that this person is up to no good and that like this person is hiding a secret at that point like i totally guessed the story as a screenwriter like there was nothing here for me ultimately this film takes some of the best elements of stuff like silence of the lambs of the ring of hereditary and even prisoners and puts them in a blender to make something that's so subpar it had none of the the weight that made those films so good None of the interesting dynamics that made Hannibal Lecter so good, for example. The mystery in Prisoners, you know, it's it's one of those films that every time you watch it, you notice something new about it. Long Legs is not that type of film. It's not the type of film you're going to want to look deeper into things. Everything is really just presented on screen for you. No subtlety, no nuance. It's just like on the table. And I really find that to be a very, very lazy approach. A lot of the hype also came from the acting in this film. A lot of people were talking about Micah Monroe's performance. Personally, I, f I find her to be a stunning actress and she's talented, don't get me wrong. But this performance here was not working for me. Now, the other aspect of the film is the hype around Nicolas Cage. And there's so much hype around his performance. And I must say that I did not see anything worth praising at all. I've been seeing him do the same performance for over 20 years you know and there's been a little bit of range here and there in a couple films but he's ultimately just doing this mean performance where he's still Nicolas Cage in the movie and I I cannot stand that to me that's not acting like acting is being a chameleon and disappearing into the role Nicolas Cage has done that a few times but more often than not he's still just silly old meme worthy Nicolas Cage so ultimately all the big reveals in this film fell flat all the emotional scenes or the scary scenes fell flat to me. I literally found this to be a huge waste of time. It's a film that was definitely carried by its marketing. The marketing even had me fooled. All those cryptic kind of stripped back teasers really, really had me curious. But ultimately, this was not worth the trip out to the movies. Ultimately, this was just leftover scraps from a bunch of better films. You should go watch Silence of the Lambs. You should go watch Prisoners, Hereditary, The Ring. Those films are much better. They are actual horror films. They are not memes, which is what Long Legs is at the end of the day. So this is a really harsh review and I'm not really sorry because I found this film to be a huge waste of time. If you liked it, 
that's cool you know go in the comments and tell me i'm wrong or dislike the video that's perfectly okay uh, guys my name is nova this is film express please like please subscribe you know if you actually agree that this film is overrated let's talk about it if if you think i'm wrong let me know let's let's definitely get into a discussion because i feel like the expectations on horror films these days are definitely definitely getting very skewed so let's have a discussion about it okay guys on that note i'll catch you guys on the next one see ya